there's a great satisfaction in being able to help people that are ill or injured. And, and that is kind of a healthcare mindset, I, I guess. We see people at their worst. Um, we see sad situations, tragic situations, where things don't work out, no matter what we do. We also see great, wonderful outcomes where we were able to intervene and make a difference in somebody's lives. The ability to use your, your mind and your hands, your skills, and to think on your feet and make decisions that benefit people, um, at least to me, is very satisfying. My name is Greg Harrington. I'm a paramedic and a firefighter with the Sawyerville Fire Department and Sawyerville Ambulance. Been in about 29 years. Also do maintenance around the building and whatever else needs to be done. The people that volunteer were like a family. There are times when we have some small or disagreements, but that's normal in any family. Uh, but we all come together and try to help out our neighbors when people need it. I got involved in May of 1965, so it's coming up on 48 years. We're a small group and we're basically family and I mean that's the way I look at it that uh, you know we're all brothers and sisters and, and uh, you know we need to work together and we work together pretty well. I'm relatively new to the department. I've only really been here a little over a year. Um, Greg is our chief uh, for the ambulance, and he lives basically across the street. So uh, he's pretty much on duty 24-7, uh, 365 days a year. Um, he and Beth, both, Beth is his wife, um, I think they, they kind of built this ambulance into what it is today, and it's it's their, uh, their baby, so to speak. If it's not for them, uh, the Slaterville Ambulance really wouldn't be um, the organization that it is today. A fair amount of what I do is not even hands-on patient care. Um, it is looking at grant opportunities. It is filing state reports. Um, I'm sitting here right now with um, a recertification um, paperwork that thick that has to be done, um, making sure that we are meeting training requirements. Um, so I have a lot of administrative responsibilities. I'm also the one that's out there helping to cook the chicken or cleaning the bathrooms before we have a fundraiser. So um, there's equality across the board because we all pitch in to do whatever needs to be done. Of course, being volunteers, we do not get paid in cash, but we do get paid every time we help someone. It's just a very good feeling to know that you've, you've helped someone's life be a little bit better. Anybody that joins a volunteer fire department is like that. They're willing to kind of put their lives on hold when the tone drops to, to help somebody that's asked for help. And I think that's unique about the fire service and about volunteering in an organization like this is the willingness of people um, to live their lives unscheduled, you know, to give their time in an unscheduled way. Um, other organizations, you know, I'll show up on Tuesday at noon and I'll work for two hours. You can't, that doesn't work here. You can't schedule an emergency. And I think it's just a unique person that can um, do that kind of work and be willing to, to drop whatever they're doing on a moment's notice to, to help out. That's one thing I like about being in a community like this is that you get this neighbor helping neighbor. When you're in a paid company, they don't have the, the lot of time or the options to do all the stuff we do because a lot of times they have more calls in a bigger area, but it's also somebody, they have to pay the bills. I mean, we get donations and we have a contract with the town of Caroline. Whereas here we give up our time, you know, and it's our time, but I mean, the cost is minimal versus getting a paycheck and all the stuff that goes in with that. So that's kind of why I like doing it out here in a small community. And uh, 
Small groups like us, because we're volunteer, are probably not going to be here in the next 10 years. There's just not enough people to volunteer, and uh, with people's work schedules and family and jobs, it's just you just don't get all the volunteers you used to.